Welcome back, we've got some more facts about Hogwarts Legacy for ya. Once you get your broom in the game, you'll be able to take on a series of quests involving flying and racing. Completing this line of quests will let you upgrade your broomstick, or a fee of course. Just don't hold your breath for Quidditch. Headmaster Black wasn't kidding when he said that Quidditch was cancelled that year. Hogwarts Legacy doesn't have any Quidditch mode at all. Which, when it comes to a Harry Potter game, you have to wonder, what the heck? Still, in the big picture, a lack of Quidditch is hardly the game's first problem. It's no surprise that Hogwarts Legacy is rife with controversy, so I'd be remiss if I didn't bring it up. Let's get the obvious out of the way. J.K. Rowling, the creator and author of the original Harry Potter series, has said a lot of heinous things about trans people over the last few years. Because Hogwarts Legacy is based on the Harry Potter property, J.K. Rowling will receive an undisclosed amount of royalties from the game's sales. In protest of Rowling's transphobia, there have been calls from allies and members of the trans community to boycott this game for as long as people knew the game existed. Although Rowling will receive royalties, Warner Brothers, Portkey, and Avalanche have all insisted that she had zero involvement in the game's development. Not the writing, not the story, not anything. Make sure you subscribe to the leaderboard for more like this.